We at ASLD recognize that this nomenclature change uh, is going to impact um, providers, patients, and our community uh, in many ways. All positive, we hope, but we know that change can be a challenge. And so we want to ensure that we're engaging all of the arms that we have available to us at AASLD, our SIG members, our task force, our patient advocacy groups. Um, we have a lot of expertise, a lot of individuals who've spent time uh, really very focused on this disease and now we want to re-engage them with this new nomenclature to find out how we're going to move it forward. We're thinking about things such as how do our patient advocacy groups work towards uh, developing educational materials. We're going to really take a, a central role in that. We're thinking about how do our SIG members um, educate their themselves, their patients? Um, what are the next steps? Do we have to think about ICD-12 and beyond? Do we have to think about how this is gonna impact things like patient care? So all of that are gonna be the focus uh, for our future. We wanna to bring together the communities that make up AASLD. Um, and as always, um, we, also, we engage with our global partners. We, got this far through our participation with our global partners. We still have a very much a global agenda and will continue to um, work towards all of the global issues that um, are also forthcoming from this nomenclature change. Um, so I want to encourage all of you to, to help in this regard. We are open to new ideas um, that come out of this nomenclature things that you think that ASLD could be doing, we could do better, ways that we can take this nomenclature forward. We're looking to you for ideas and input. So please, please um, know that the door is open as it were, uh, or the email is open. So please email us if you have any, um, anything that you'd like to share in that regard. We look forward to hearing from you. And thank you again for being part of this really exciting next step.